Hello cave dwellers. It's me the editor. Remember the amazing signed Super Saiyan Gohan print from last week's interview? Well it's going out to one of you lucky subscribers. Stick around for the great giveaway at the end. Okay, Cable Maniacs, we are back at Cowtown. This is gonna be my last interview of this weekend. And uh, I, I saved a good one for last. I hadn't got to talk to this guy on an interview and he was super excited to get to talk to Uncle Nasty. And hey, I like it, I'll take it any way I can get it. I got Mr. Paul Gomez in the building. What's happening, what's happening? Hello to everybody out there. Thank you for having me. No, man. Thank you for coming on, uh, brother. You 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 are an independent guy. Independent. You are a creative guy. Trying my best. You've got two projects going on right now, right? Two projects that just came out. One that's going to start on February seventh. Yeah. All right. So, which one would you like to talk about first? You you want to talk about the Bushy Boo Circus, or you want to talk about PTSD? Well, let's talk about PTSD. All right. Let's show these this people this. Oh my I god. I know there might be a glare. There there'll be pictures posted. That's that's a foil cover right there. I've been selling out of that that beautiful DJ Hall cover. It, it's been flying out of my my shelf, my boxes. This is my second re, second string of printing that I've been on, and I'm going on to my third, and it's just been wild. That's the best word that I could say because I, I didn't expect any of this. I expected maybe to sell maybe a hundred or two books, and I'm thinking I'm looking at a thousand now already. Hold your, hold your mic a little bit closer. You steadily. Steady, yeah, <laughs> going down a little bit. His, a little his arm is deflating. He's like, uh, <laughs> oh. But yeah, man, it's been wild and crazy. So where, the the story behind PTSD, what in, what, what inspired you to want to do this? It, it, it was really the pandemic. You know, it, it hit all of us hard, and, and especially my family. I was going through uh, being laid off because of the pandemic. One of my kids had caught in COVID right after that. He had a collapsed lung. One kid got diagnosed with diabetes, and we've been having to struggle taking him back and forth to the hospital. One of my children uh, got diagnosed with autism, and then right after all that stuff, I uh, started going through a divorce. My daughter started cutting to herself, and I'm like trying to talk to, to my family and these kids, and I'm... Uh, a lot of people just don't want to talk about their problems sometimes. So I wanted to put a, a story in a book to say, hey, everybody has problems. Don't let it get this far. Please go get help if you need it. And that's really what this book was. It was a passion project. I just wanted to open that door of mental illness and awareness. Well, I have I, I have gotten me a copy yesterday, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump on it right when I get to the house, when I have opportunity. You know, I'm you know right and a lot of the viewers right. know if you knew i i am an army veteran uh iraqi war veteran i went over a couple times i've got that ptsd yeah. bull crap that's how i say it <laughs> that ptsd bull crap well, i got it but and, and a lot of people come up to me and say you know were you a veteran and i i wasn't the the the, the one story that i tell people about this book is I was working on bushy boo the script uh, and me and my editor took a break on on memorial day and we wanted to pay homage to everybody who had contributed to in the service and whatnot. And it was right after that that we had, you know, took six, eight hours just BSing about family members who were in the service. And the next day, because I was working on a project for mental illness, the next day this story came to me. And I was like, I have to put it, put it on paper. I have to show my editor and see what he thinks. And he was blown away. And he is like, stop what you're doing. We need to do, we need to do this book for for not not just for people out there just you need to do this book so it was really it came into its own the artist fell in our laps the the cover artist fell in our laps DJ Hall he's a, a veteran yeah DJ's a good guy man and whenever I showed him the the script I was like I didn't know he was a veteran. I didn't know he suffered from PTSD. And right. I was like, I want to show you the script because I don't want to offend anybody. It is a hard story. And and I tell people it's it's a cautionary tale. 
And sometimes you need a little tough love to get through that, that barrier. And that's what this was. That's good, man. Well, I'm excited. Where, where can these guys uh, find that book at? PTSD, if you're in DFW areas, in 25 of the 28 local comic book stores, which I'm blessed that they picked me up. It's also going to be on my new Kickstarter on February 7th. After that, I'm hoping to raise enough money to get me a web page or find a comic book host that will put me in their store so I can direct people to what's the name on kickstarter it's going to be on mindbender that's going to be my new book on february 7th and it's going to be an add-on at the moment but like i said i'm hoping to find someone or a site that i could put it on there so i could direct people because i've had a lot of people ask me about it okay now let's let's uh let's move on you can if you yeah. can hand me that yeah let's move over to to the bushy boo circus and you can you can tell us a little bit about this too and this this cover that he's holding up right here is Ken Salinas's cover, and y'all y'all know Voodoo's and Man. and Ken's a stud. We've y'all y'all we've interviewed him. Y'all y'all love Ken. Everybody loves Ken. Well, this is his cover. And that's uh, amazing art right there, isn't he's, it? He's got. We're, we've already we've already given our our, our viewers some Ken stuff. Oh uh, my god! And so so we have we have other artist friends, and and because he's teamed up with another phenomenal artist, uh, Miss Ariel Diaz. We've no. interviewed her and stuff. This is her cover for the Bushy Boo. And I, I couldn't and I, I couldn't be more happy for him that he's got Ariel on a cover because right. she kills everything she touches. Uh, and those beautiful tigers and that and that beautiful main character right there, Zahara. I mean Ariel just perfect, perfect picture right there. And uh, he, he will sign this book right here before before we leave and that will. and that will be and that will be what you guys get for watching this and uh, and participating in the giveaway part of this, sharing and getting his name out there and uh, telling people you think what he's doing is cool. So yeah. who's Bushy? Bushy is <laughs> – so this, this is a project that whenever the pandemic hit, we were all stuck in the house, and I wanted to lift the morale of my kids, right? Right. So we, we – went into this room like a think tank and we started putting all these stories together in a notebook and, and all the kids were having fun you know oh my youngest my five-year-old he used to run around the house going bushy bushy boom and he would run into the other kids and me so i put together bushy bushy boom with scooby-doo mysteries and that's where bushy boo circus mysteries came from you know i i i'm i'm from south arkansas so I grew up on a little Boosie music. Yeah. So I, when I, I thought first time I saw that, I thought it said Boosie Boo Circus, right. and I was like, they got a little Boosie in a comic book? Like, who, hey. how'd they manage that? We well, could definitely fit it in there somewhere down the line. And you know, I, I saw this. Uh, I, I, the first place I saw this was in a comic book group. Believe it or not. Oh, wow. Somebody sharing it in a comic book group, and and I didn't know, I didn't know who it was. I had to look to find out it was yours, and I was like, well, that's cool. Well, you know, having said that, let's let's talk about when we first met. Yeah. Let, what, what was it? A few months ago, when you were here at Cowtown. He was it was here, October. And he was doing all those interviews, and I hadn't had a book out yet, but I enjoyed sitting there watching, and I was doing research to because I wanted to try to do a book. Yeah. So I was talking to you all day long whenever you're doing this stuff. And, and we introduced him to some people while yeah. he was here, and and it. You know, you're you're not the you you weren't the only one that came and talked to yeah. us, but look what you got. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have a comic book then, and and you gave me all that time, and I appreciate it. I mean, it. I've been helped by so many people, and I don't know if they know how much they impacted the fact that I got to this point. And if you're trying to make a comic book, anyone can do it. I did it. Talk to friends. Talk to people in the industry. Because it's helped out so much. And and there's guys that, that when, when you have that independent project that you pour so much passion into, when you take your cover idea to Ariel Diaz, yeah. to Ken Salinas, yes. and you say, hey, look, I've got this thing I'm passionate about. Put some life on it for me. Put it on that cover. And they'll and help you. Yeah. They, 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 they definitely, you know, it's not free. But it, it's yeah. it's it's worth what it's yeah. worth what they ask and and they and they care about how you feel about it so they you know they put the love and the touch they on do it. they they direct you where you need to go and and the thing about it is if you're gonna make a comic book and you're gonna put your heart sweat soul into it ask 
because they will help. I mean, you helped me that day by talking to me as much as you did, and, and I appreciate that. Well, I, I, I want to take everybody as serious as I can. So when somebody says, hey, look, yeah. I've, got, I've got this idea. I want to I wanna, I wanna do this. Yeah. And all you have to do is say, well, you can, bro. Yeah. And this is, these are the people you need to go talk to to make that happen. Yeah. And, and did, did, did McLean do the? M- McLean, McLean is the best thing on earth in a small package. <laughs> McLean he, McGuire, guys. Y'all he, know who we mean. He helped me. Him and Charter Comics helped me out with a bunch of stuff, directed me, showing me a few people. And like I said, whenever you were interviewing people, it was uh, William Russell. That was uh, basically the time that I decided I was going to approach William Russell for the cover. And he's on my cover A of Bushy Boo. So, I mean, like I say, ask, do your research. You know, anyone can do it. And and if, if, if you're doing it for a good cause, everyone wants to help. And I appreciate that. I really do. Have, have you had a good con? Yeah, man. I mean, it, it's especially Cowtown. Friends and family, this is. This is all you can ask for. Well, I, I, I hope I hope you all the success in the world, brother. Thank you. I, I hope they make you a pile of money. I hope you 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 write a story and it catches on like a wildfire. Thank and they, you. And they come option it and they put it on Netflix <laughs> and Disney Plus and Paramount Plus and Hulu and Voodoo <laughs> and all that. All right. Well, look, we have that giveaway for you. This is Paul Gomez. Paul, tell them everything you have social media wise where they can find your stuff and they can see what you're going to have so they can keep up with you. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, and I'm on Instagram. It's all Paul Gomez 790 I'm going to be on uh, Kickstarter coming February 7th, and that's going to be Mindbender, which is going to be my new one. We'll share that. And then, like I said, on Mindbender, I'm going to have these books available. I'm going to look into getting me a website so I can direct people to that or you know, correspond with other people to find that availability for everybody but thank you so much for the support from everybody who's bought everybody who's helped and and just about everybody out there thank you so much uncle nasty with paul gomez at gabe's cave i saved him for last so i could tell you if you got a dream why wait october he didn't have no books now here i am that's right with another one on the way yes sir with some cool cover artists too yes sir peace cave and maniacs And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Good luck.